boogers, frozen boogers. We'll see if anybody's coming on yet. See how long my phone will last. Well, we got one like so far. Two likes. Two watchers, four likes. Okay. So we're uh, feeding cows, bedding cows down right now. Hey Jordy, how's it going? And it's, it's uh, minus 30. It was 35 this morning. Windy like crazy. Windy. The wind is crazy. I've never seen it this windy yet and this cold. Oh man, it is cold. You can see by the tractor. How do I turn this thing around? Eh? You see by the tractor exhaust. Eighteen degrees Celsius, so it's like yeah, sassy nasty minus forty three. Yeah, we had, we were at thirty five. We were at forty a few days ago, but it wasn't windy. If it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be too bad. Like minus thirty for the daytime high, you can live with that if it wasn't windy. But man, it's so windy. Uh, we burned winter fuel. Our fuel is, uh, up here we get fuel, it's, we just call it winter fuel and it's already specially formulated and, and uh, light. That tire already went flat. How is it still daylight? The sun just went down. Six o'clock. o'clock now and it stays light out. The difference two months makes. Two months ago was uh, December, end of December it was it was uh, dark at 4.30 plus 30. These guys are ah, so yeah. So we're just bedding the, we're actually feeding the cows in the bedding parts. And uh, we're just giving them, uh, well actually we're giving them good quality hay now too. We're giving them this, uh, we're throwing down some of this old, old uh, straw that had some hay in it. And it was garbage stuff. So they were spreading it around and laying on it and eating some of it here. They're eating this one. But this is uh, some of the same stuff, but it, it's uh, pretty good hay. We call it hay straw it's from an old, uh, from the barley when they underseed the hay. So it's got some double mixed in it. We had three calves today. Holy man, my right hand's getting cold. Gotta switch. Uh, Northern Lights? Uh, yeah, they were crazy the other night. There were so many pictures on Facebook. Uh, minus 51 with the wind. Yeah, Nick, Rick, you guys, well, you guys are so wide open, you got no trees in sight. Uh, yeah, no, it's, I don't know what the wind chill is. All I know is it's minus 35 with crazy wind. So, and we're blocked here from the trees and it's still, the wind is pushing right through the trees. Usually it's really nice here, but you can feel the wind. And Lori went back to the truck to warm up. You can feel the wind coming through the tree so you know it's windy out in the open. Holy smokes, <laughs> Nick, right on. Right on, Nick, one dollar. That's awesome. Everybody, everybody could donate 50 cents to my heater fund. What's the coldest it had been this year? Here? I think it was like 42. That should have said four trucks under it. 
Oh, yeah, it was 42 that I know of. Uh, the coldest place in Alberta was 50, no, not in Alberta, it was Northwest Territories, 51 or 52. What's that? <laughs> oh, he's listening to the hockey game. What's the score now? That's Edmonton for you. Come on, Sean, pick up the pace. We're freezing out here. Seem to have lost my text again. Can't see any comments. Maybe my phone is froze. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a polar vortex, that's why. Everybody's getting the polar vortex. What crops do we grow? We grow uh, canola, barley, wheat, and we're gonna try some oats next year, and peas. Yeah, we're paying the price for sure. Remember I was saying that in my earlier videos, how warm it was in uh, January or December and January? Well, we're definitely paying the price now. I think we're getting like a 30, 35 kilometer wind. Now uh, we're in the mountain time zone. How many bales, how many bales, how many bales a day are we feeding? I don't know anymore. We're just throwing bales out. Uh, we finally got the AMX 210 back in the shop now. Our shop was all cluttered because we were building a mezzanine and we finally made enough room. Give this to Sean to say hello. Sean! He should have his phone in there, watching while he's driving. Will a Canadian dollar buy a gumball out of a machine? If it's about uh, 75 cents, it should. Hey, Lori, we're live. I'm doing a live stream. Because this way I just keep the phone up and just hold it. Because I haven't been doing any videos lately. Because it's just... Too tired to edit and stuff, so I thought I'd do the live stream. Whatever. Hey, Daryl. He says to stay warm. I don't know how. <laughs> Go in the house. Yeah. Hey, farmer. Donald Trump farmer. How warm is it in Vegas? The Canadian dollar would be worth more than American in no time. I don't know. What's our, our, our dollar? I don't want it to be worth more than American. No, That's bad for us. We've got to have the dollar down. Helps for the grain prices and cattle prices, everything like that. Sean speaks, so don't you worry. Just not to me in the camera. <laughs> uh, it's six o'clock, or no. Is it got to be close to six, eh? What? Got to be close to six o'clock. 61 degrees in Vegas. Oh. That's nice. Gotta switch hands again. Put the other one in my pocket. Your clock, your uh, watch wrong? Yeah. <laughs> it must have stopped. Stop. Dipped it in water. <laughs> Our uh, two one for the others at the end of this first. Somebody's on here. Yeah, Daryl's watching. Uh, oh yeah, our, our our water is constantly freezing at home. The wind, the wind, the wind is steady, freezing ice. We have to take pails of water to thaw out the float all the time. So, hurry, Sean, hurry! It's getting dark. Hey, Matthew Haddock, how's it going? Hey, hello from Manitoba. It's a damn tax on everything up there. I couldn't even afford a beer. How are the new tires doing? Well, one went flat already. We put new tires on so we wouldn't have to worry about going flat and we got one that went flat. A new one. It didn't go right flat, but it was it was uh the right the right front what the well the both fronts we had. The right one went flat. We had to pump it we up yesterday. It so we'll see. It's probably leaking around the rim, I would say. 
that's always seems like what happens. I also hear a lot of NHL teams are not playing in, in the States because of COVID. Later, Suzanne. Have you ever been to Maine? No, I've only been to Wisconsin. And that was a long time ago. Good for one day, yeah. Exactly, good for one week. Good year, good for one week. <laughs> How are cattle prices over your way? Pretty good. Can't complain. I guess he's going to that feeder. Uh, so I think somebody asked me how many calves we got. I think we're nearing the 60 mark. There's no calves here, so they're all taken home. And they're in the barn right now in the sheds. Actually, they're doing quite well there. So. What do you think canola prices will do next year? Well, I hope they stay at around twelve dollars at least. That'd be nice. Now everybody's gonna see canola like crazy. But I think it's gonna be good to uh, see barley this year. Least amount of expense and its return is really good. Yeah, that's, you can tell it's cold. Steaming. Yeah, we're giving out some of our better hay now. We're kind of mixing it good hay with a little less quality hay. So with it this cold, we're just throwing all good hay. We are getting your cold in Nebraska. But by the time it gets down to Nebraska, it warms up. Okay, Sean, you gotta throw more down here. Holy smokes in my hand, never cold. Gotta keep switching them. Hey, Kai. How come Kai's not watching? Are the MX Series your favorite model tractors? Uh, not my favorite. But I do. Uh, I actually like the MX, uh, just the straight MX Maxim tractors. These Ma MX Magnums are good, but they're not really a sp uh, specifically designed to be a loader tractor. Whereas the MX Maxims are, like my 135 and 125, or 120, sorry. So cold in Nebraska, it says there's no temperature. Oh, in that truck too. Oh, this. He can throw down a few bales before we have to go cut him. He can throw down a few bales before we have to cut him. Yeah. 552. Everybody get their 50 50 raffle in Alberta. $154,000. 50 50. Every time the Oilers play. But you have to be in Alberta or else you can't, you can't uh, play. Northern Saskatchewan hit minus 70 two days ago. Right to north uh, by Port McMurray and into Saskatchewan. That's where the coldest was. How many acres did you harvest this year? Laura, how many acres did we harvest this year? Uh, 1100. No way. Was it? Well, I'm talking the stuff that's just come by, not the stuff we didn't see or stuff like that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I wish we harvested 1100 this year. Or 700. I think it was, yeah, about 650, something like that. The rest was drowned. It was unseated. Tell Laurie he runs pretty fast for an old guy. <laughs> he runs faster than me. 
You run fast all the time when it's cold, boy. You have your long johns on. Damn right. Actually, I should have a second pair on. I feel like the wind's going right through me. <laughs> you got number one diesel? Yeah. You betcha. Even an, even our di winter diesel is flowing kind of stiff. I can tell we're filling up the MX there and... <laughs> if you say minus 50, someone else will say minus 51. <laughs> That was Aaron. Never had to wear long johns. Well, that's probably a pretty good thing then. How many acres of pot do you grow up there? Six. <laughs> well, cattle don't mind the cold, but as long as they're sheltered from the wind and they got lots to eat. They don't like the wind, yeah. Nope. Just like me, I don't like the wind either. Uh, the generator, I put it to the side for now. We don't need it, so we just had to move it there that day, and so I made a video of it. What kind of boots do you wear to keep your feet warm? Uh, Sorrells, which I'm not wearing right now, but I have them. But I just didn't. Why are you guys watching Sean work? <laughs> That's straight pipe. Well, we're working too. We're just farming up. That's why we were working. We gotta wait till he gets with He's gonna get a few bales out there. Make it work well, water, yeah, man. I'm not gonna sit out there for one bale. It takes uh, he takes two. He takes a long time to go around. I have Carhartt bibs or cover or uh. Whatever, yeah. How much do those boots cost? They're like 150 bucks. It's dark there already, eh? Straight Pipe says it's dark at his place already. Well, because he's, he's farther east than we are. He's Nick. Yeah, ski pants. Hey, Bob, how's it going? How's it going down in North Carolina? I really have to get those boots out. This is getting kind of crazy. Sunny and 60 Fahrenheit. Completely dark in Manitoba. Yeah, it should be. It should be by now. You guys are two hours ahead. What side of the country are you on? The west? Yeah, we're in Alberta. So we're pretty much west. Oh yeah, wild hog hunting. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't take any uh, players with you, eh? From the hurricanes? Hey, from Horse Lake Ranch. I guess how many bales has he got out there now? He's got two. Yeah. Greetings from Ireland, 1 a.m. Yeah, he's with me. Who's, who's with you, Bob? Who do you got going with you there? What do women do all day in the cold? They must have 10 sweatshirts on. They, they, they only got two Northern Farmer sweatshirts on. Bentley, I'm up by uh, Peace River, Peace Country. The Oilers are winning 2-1 to one right now, Bob. Oh, Nino, yeah, that's right. That's right, Nino Nino Rider. Yeah. Yeah, hit the like button, you guys. The like button helps good. Like I said before, I haven't been making any videos. I should turn this around here. Oh, I haven't been making any videos lately because uh, I get in at about, I don't know, about 8 o'clock and then I just go to bed because I get up at 3 and then I'm up. Sometimes if there's a calf, I'm up to about 6. Then I go back to sleep. 
and uh, uh, Sean and Rory are sleeping all like the well, Sean uh, checks cows right till midnight, and Lori actually goes to bed at eight. Ends up at five, so so I get a little nap in till about nine o'clock. So uh, we're running about 200, 240 head. Uh, we're calving here. We got about sixty some head uh, calves so far. Our barn is full right now. Uh, which grains do we plan to grow this year? Uh, we're going to do wheat and barley and probably some oats. I should go out and help Larry, but I don't know. My feet are still cold. Maybe I'll run out there. Get my gloves on. Any twins? Yeah, we've had like... I think we had like six sets of twins. Hey, take it, take it easy. Oh my God. I gotta buy another pair of gloves too. The mitt ties. Uh, these ones, they're pretty warm, but they get they get cold after a while. But I can't find my ones with the big, you know, with the big snot. Wiper on them. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, he's got his lights on now. Is the cat dozer froze? Yeah, she's froze up. Won't be starting that for a while. That day before yesterday, yeah, I watched a little bit of it. Kind of knew who was gonna win. What did the bartender say to the jumper cables? From Arctic front outbreak to polar vortex, just to scare it. I've heard about polar vortex for I don't know how many years now. Why do we calf at the coldest time of year? Because the cows didn't want to calf in January. No, we always calf at this time. Uh, the main reason is we've got to get our calving done before uh, seeding time. Because if we're calving full bore in April, May... I, nope, yeah. Well, you could do it, but... But man, another thing be it'd be a mud hole all over the place. Like the calves would be walking right up to their uh, necks in mud and water. That's another reason why we do it now because it's frozen. That no disease either. And the calves are bigger come time to sell. Exactly. They're better weight too when it's when we sell. Yeah, these guys, for how cold it's, how cold it's been, they, they look pretty good. Uh, all the moms are taking care of their babies pretty well, except for one. She kind of didn't, just the one, 905. <laughs> yeah, she just, it's her own. Buddy. It's her own calf, but she kicks it for some reason. I think she got mixed up. She got mixed up for some reason with, because we had that calf in with another calf in the in the heat house and uh yes what aaron said aaron starko he said it right on huh he said we calve this time of year because the markets are the best when it's selling time yeah we got all kinds of breeds here one thing though one thing that's funny here this year is we live emect the cows for lice and whatever, whatnot, but I don't know, these cows have been scratching like crazy and they got these little, little uh, uh, circles of hair missing on them. 
and the, I I've met them like crazy too. We put like uh, usually put like 54. I put like 60 on them this year, and they're still itchy. Most of the cows are over there because that's where they fed them first. So the majority of them are over there. I got that calf shed with the board broken, so we got cows sitting in there now. Yeah, it's like they got mange. The Ivamec didn't work for that. It's not every cow, but most of them. You can see quite a few that have little, little circles on them. We'll go see what we got here. It seems like it affects the black ones the worst. See, like this cow's all right. That cow's all right. That one's all right too. Now that I want to see some, I can't see any. That cow's getting a bag. Fat. <laughs> I had one cow, uh, one of Sean's cows, was it yesterday morning? Uh, it's laid down, must have laid down wrong and couldn't get up. And it was starting to bloat. When I came out here, I thought it was having a calf, but she was straining really hard to get up. So I tried to, I tried to lift her up, but it, uh, it was, I couldn't do it. So I went and got a rope, put it around her neck, pulled sideways, and then she flicked, flipped over. Yeah, that's over here. Oh, these cows look pretty good. Yeah, see, some, they got little... Some of the black cows I saw, they have like little circles all over it. I thought it was ringworm. Come on, focus. This is, I think, our only cow with horns. Yeah, it's just a few cows. You can see they got scratches on their back and everything. So. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, you can see this one scratching on her neck. Where usually when we eye them, they, they, they don't do nothing. But this year's been different. So, yeah, what we're doing here is we're just throwing on the bales and they're just going to bed in them, too. Whatever they eat, they eat, they eat, the rest they lay on. Boy man, it's getting cold now, the sun's going down. See, this is pretty good hay for crappy hay. Oh yeah, Sony Farms. I watch his channel sometimes. Oh, this is still that wrap on it. Did you cut this one? Chinese Ivamek. Yeah, it was that generic brand. Yeah, see this, this hay has got some of that old stubble, barley stubble in it, straw from when we were baling straw and we couldn't bale it because it was too wet. Right there, see, it's all mixed up. Just get the cows and mess it up. I think my breath is making my phone go crazy. Come on, focus. There. Moose Andy, yeah. 
I watch your channel from time to time too. Hey, take it easy, Ryan. Stay warm, everyone. <laughs> Getting cold now, the sun went down, eh? Well, I hope no one calves tonight. Usually, we're doing pretty well. They've been calving during the day. And you, usually, you know what they say? Uh, the old wives' tales, you're supposed to feed them at night and they calve during the day. So we're feeding them at night, I guess. It's a lot darker here when it looks. How do I make comments come back up? That's my brother, Lori. My dad is in the house, staying warm. He doesn't come outside anymore. Too cold for him. The more cows are coming to join us. All right, take it easy there. Scent scentless fabrication. I think this is one of those 900 cows too. How's it going? Holy smokes. I think we're gonna have to end the live stream because my hand is freezing again. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut this one down. Like I said, uh, how many calves you guys got on the ground? We got about 60. 60 calves. So we had three today. In fact, we're going to go back and start to put in the cows with the calves in the barn because there's too many calves in the barn, so we just alternate. But yes, my hands are freezing and I'm uh, going to. Uh, end, the, end the stream for now. Like I said, I was doing the stream because I haven't been doing it. 190,000 for the 50-50. I think Sean bought like six, 16 tickets already. Hey, it's old pig. Cool, babe. Cold one, that's for sure. Windy up by your place too, eh? I know Grand Prairie area is always freaking windy there. Yes, we have COVID. COVID is actually kind of bad in this area for some reason. I'll stay a few minutes longer here. Yeah, actually, we're drifting in, too, with this wind. Because we had all that snow two weeks ago, or a week ago. What, a week and a half ago? I didn't eat. No, wait, I did eat. Yesterday, we didn't eat till, like, later. But I actually ate lunch today. Yeah. He will be coming, uh, a steak will be coming near you soon. Put in a few hours, Aaron, in the plow. We call Aaron Mr. Plow now. A from Missouri. Okay, I'm going to end this now because my hand is frozen and I can't switch anymore because they're both frozen. So I'm actually surprised this phone is staying alive. Good old Samsung. Better than that Apple crap. Can't stand Apple. Just the ones you eat. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.
I should get TikTok? That's what a few people have said I should get TikTok. What does everybody think? I should get TikTok? I don't know. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to you all soon. How do you stop this damn thing? <laughs>